Okay, so I just added some awesome new features to world's fastest voice to text system for Mac OS. First, now you can transcribe local files. Just select one or more files, hit transcribe, and you're going to see the transcription instantly. But the best feature yet, you can do speaker diarization. And the system identifies multiple speakers and transcribe the audio individually. This is my own voice to text system that runs entirely on device. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi now. So for the rest of the video, we're going to see a live demo that does not use the Wi-Fi. Just to show you, everything is running entirely locally on device. So let me give you a quick demo. This is one of the fastest voice to text transcription application that runs entirely on device. So if you care about your privacy and you don't want to pay for yet another subscription, this is the app you want to get. Now the transcription that you saw was completely real time. Now there is also enhanced mode, which enables in an LLM or a large language model. So now the transcription is using a large language model for any grammatical mistakes or style correction you get to define how the LLM or large language model is going to fix the grammatical mistakes. Now, if you're using the large language model, it's still really fast. So I have been building some features based on the feedback that I have been getting from the users, which has been absolutely phenomenal. So thanks a lot for all the feedback and the early support. One of the feature requests was that if you haven't been using the app for a while, it would offload the large language model to save on memory. But that also meant that for a new transcription, it would take a couple of seconds extra. However, now it intelligently loads the large language model while the transcription is happening. So even if you don't use the app for a while, it should be nearly instant when you start using it again. Let me show you a couple of other new features that I have added based on the user feedback. So let's say you start the transcription. Now you have the ability to cancel it. So before you had to actually stop it and then select the text and delete it. But now you can just press escape. When you press escape, it's going to show you this. Either you can cancel the transcription. That means it's not going to show you any text whatsoever. However, let's say the transcription is running and accidentally you pressed escape so it's going to just show you the same button now if you click on keep going then it's going to continue the transcription onward so you're not going to lose anything and when you stop it you are going to see all the text that you have been transcribing now you can transcribe local files just select one or more files hit transcribe and you're going to see the transcription instantly but the best feature yet you can do speaker diarization. And the system identifies multiple speakers and transcribe the audio individually. So this contains a podcast that I listened to. It actually has three different speakers. Now the system identified four speakers, but there is a reason for it. So let me actually play you this audio. It looks like the easiest way to make money in 2025 is to take the very biggest companies and double down one more time. My gut tells me we're over romanticizing verticals in the age of AI. Team, it is so good to be back. It's slightly earlier for you. Topic number one, average. Okay, so if you notice for speaker three and four, it's the same person, but there was some serious background music in the earlier segment. But still, the model does a really good job. Now, keep in mind, the diarization process does take a while compared to normal transcription because it has to do a number of different models, including clustering and identification of speakers. But this is going to be an offline process. And then you can simply export the transcription. For example, if you select this, you can actually modify speaker names as well. Let's call this John. And you can see that every speaker name is changing. Okay, and let's call it Jack. Okay, we'll just call this one Matt. Matt as well, okay. And then we can just export it. Okay, so here I exported quite a few different audio files. You can see the timestamps. And at the end, you will be able to see every speaker with the corresponding timestamp, right? So this can be very useful if you are building 
let's say a retrieval system on top of these transcriptions. In fact, I have an idea for write that is going to be coming up in a month or so. Okay, so these were just a few features that are coming up in the next update. There is a lot more planned and please keep your feedback coming. So why exactly I am building this? There are already a number of different solutions out there. In my opinion, this is one of the fastest and the best implementation that you're going to see on market. And it's extremely customizable. In fact, if you go here, you have the ability to set your own custom prompts. This really lets you customize this app for your own transcription needs. And I have been building local AI solutions for a while now. For those who have been following my work, I created local GPT, which is one of the first on device, completely local and private retrieval augmented generation system. In fact, at the moment, it has about 22,000 GitHub stars. Then I also built Worby, which is a voice assistant that uses a local speech to text system, a local LLM, and then a local text to speech system where you can really interact with an agent entirely through voice. And I personally strongly believe that voice is going to be the interface of the future. Nobody's going to be typing. And personally, it has really changed the way I use computers. So right now, if you're interested, there's a $10 off. You get 12 months of updates without any subscription. But if you first want to try it out, you can use the app with all the features for three days. Anyways, I will highly recommend if you're on Mac OS, please do test this out. I want to build it with your feedback. The updates that I showed you are going to be coming towards the end of the week, either Friday or Saturday. I just have to iron out a few more things. Anyways, do let me know your feedback. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.